Today, we're gonna to be reviewing and comparing the video resolution quality between the Lumix S5 and the Canon EOS R. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I wanted to make this to compare two similar cameras that are in like the sim similar price brackets. Um, the Lumix S5 and the Canon EOS R. You can pick them both up body only for about $1,800, somewhere around there, give or take. Since they're in similar price brackets, they're marketed towards um, similar target audiences. So I wanted to compare uh, in today's video, the Lumix S5 4K and 1080p and the EOS R 4K and 1080p. And so, I'm gonna switch over to a video chart. I've got both cameras set up in front of a resolution chart um, to really capture the crispness of each camera. Let's go ahead and switch to that view right now. All right, guys, let's take a look at this footage. Um, off the top, you might notice that I'm using a very janky, self-made, video resolution chart. All of you Puritans are going to be hating on that in the comments. This is gonna be good enough to give us an accurate readout of the resolution and sharpness that both of these cameras have to offer. Let's go ahead and observe what we can see here, which is a very crisp 4K image. It's looking incredibly sharp. One thing to note on the S5, the S5 has a 6K sensor, which means that the 4K in the S5 is actually downsampled from 6K, meaning you're actually getting a sharper 4K resolution from the S5 than you would get from other cameras that just have standard UHD 4K. Switching over to the EOS R, we can see it looks good. You might have not even noticed a difference. Another thing to note with both of these cameras, I actually have the sharpness adjusted down. Um, so I've gone in the camera picture profile settings and adjusted the sharpness down. Now let's go to a crop in, a 200% crop in on the S5. And it still is looking really, really crisp and sharp. You can see lots of fine detail. The quality loss is so minuscule that you might not even be able to tell that we're cropped in. Um, and that's just how sharp the S5 is. Now switching to the EOS R, it still looks pretty good, pretty decent. Um, if you look at the edges of the lines on the outside of the circle, you can tell definitely we're getting some less sharpness in the EOS R. And that is to be expected because again, the Lumix S5 is downsampled 6K. We're gonna jump to a 400% crop. You're probably not gonna be cropping in as much as 400%. This is just for the purposes of this test. Jumping to the EOS R, now we're getting somewhere. You can really start to see the image starting to soften up a little bit. Um, you can see the edges of these lines here, really starting to get a microscopic view of what's going on. And you can see just how soft the EOS R 4K resolution is to the S5. And just to make things extra clear, <laughs> we're gonna jump to a 1200% crop. And this is way over the top, but just to exaggerate the point, you can see the S5. Take a look at those lines there next to the EOS R. At this close, I mean, you can really tell a night and day difference between the EOS R and the S5, but uh, zoomed all the way out with no crop. Um, looking at this footage normally, it's probably hard to tell which is which. And now we are going to jump to our 1080p resolution. Lumix S5 it looks great. Um, one thing I am not sure about is if the 1080p is downsampled from 4K in the S5. I am not sure about that. If any of you guys uh, watching this happen to know the answer to that, um, leave a comment below, let us know for sure, because I am actually not sure if the 1080p resolution in the S5 is downsampled from 4K, or if it's just straight up 1080p. Switching to the EOS R, 
Um, it looks great. Already can kind of tell a little bit more softness actually in the EOS R, and you might not be able to tell at all, um, especially if you're watching this back on a phone. But if we jump to a 200% crop, which I would never do on a resolution as low as 1080p, but this is just for this video test. And as you can see, we've got some more going on here in the center. That's kind of to be expected since we were at a lower resolution. Now switching to the EOS R, you can tell um, we're getting a softer image overall. So let's crop into 400% just to exaggerate the point and look at another one of our little focus circles here on this chart. We are definitely getting some pixelation going on. Jumping to the EOS R, the 1080p on the EOS R, it has a different texture to it. It's, it's definitely softer, and I would say the Lumix is more crisp, but uh, honestly, I think the, the, I think the Lumix is a bit more harsh, and you can actually really tell that by jumping over here to the fabric on this wall, where I have this chart hung up, we're getting some pretty excessive moiré going on in the fabric. You can see kind of this, this pink banding that's happening. Um, that is because the S5 is either A, down sampling, and the 1080p on the S5 is capturing more detail than the EOS R, or the S5 is doing a lot of digital sharpening in camera. Even though I have sharpening turned down in the profile settings, when we switch to the EOS R, that virtually goes away. So this could be a benefit to shooting 1080p on the EOS R over the S5, is you are getting much less moiré on fine fabric details on fine lines. I find that super interesting and um, this might be a reason to go with the EOS R over the Lumix S5. Back when I picked up the Lumix S5, I ended up switching to my S5 as my A cam that replaced all of my other Canon cameras, and I still shoot on Canon. I mean, I love the Canon look, the Canon colors, Canon autofocus, and I'm gonna continue shooting with Canon. It's always gonna have a special place in my heart. Um, because that's what I started with. Even though I primarily shoot with Lumix right now, I can't recommend the S5 enough. Um, I have really enjoyed using it, and that's actually what I'm filming this video on right now. Um, and so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, I hope that it was helpful for you. If you were maybe considering buying the Lumix S5 or the Canon EOS R, and if you want me to do any more tests between these two cameras, like a color test to test out the color science, uh, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And without further ado, let's dive in. Let's jump in. Let's jive in. Jump and dive. Jive. Yikes.